review lesson 11, we are going to be measuring and drawing angles with a protractor. So quick reminder, here's a protractor, right? On a protractor, you measure the angles by seeing how wide or narrow it is. So here, if I have this angle, I'm going to first line up my protractor, okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how wide it is. Now this angle, okay, it's an obtuse angle. So my choices are on my protractor 50 or 130. Well, because it's wider than a 90 degree angle, it has to be 130 degrees. Here's another example. Line up your protractor, measure. Now my choices here are 100 or 80 degrees. Now looking at this angle, this is less than a right angle, right? So it has to be the smaller number. All right, here's another one. With this one, you're going to have to turn your protractor. Okay? So I have to turn it in order to measure so I can put my protractor correctly on the vertex here. Okay? So now when I measure, my choices are 120 or 60. Now this is a narrow angle, right? This is not very wide. It's less than 90 degrees. So it's going to be the lower number. Here's another example where I'm going to have to turn my protractor. Okay, or there we go. So I got to line up my vertex. Probably going to have to turn it again. There we go. Measure my angle. Turn it a little bit more. There we go. Measure my angle. My choices are 120 or 60. Now, again, this is a narrow angle, so I'm going to go with the lower number. Tonight for homework, I want you to describe in three sentences, how do you measure an angle, okay? And I want you to describe in three sentences, how do you draw an angle with a protractor? Thank you for your hard work, and I will see you tomorrow.